The sheriff of Portage County, Ohio, is getting some uh, repercussions after saying that people having Kamala Harris signs in their yards should have their addresses recorded so that undocumented immigrants can be sent to their homes. Uh, now, in a post on Facebook, on both his personal and his campaign accounts, Portage County Sheriff Bruce Sikowski, a Trump-supporting Republican seeking re-election, had likened immigrants to human locusts and called Harris a flip-flopping, laughing hyena, and then told his followers to write down the addresses of the people who had Harris signs in their yards so that the migrants in need of housing, the people that he called locusts, should be sent to their, quote, new families who supported their arrival. So let me just tell you, uh, first off, I'd rather have migrants here than some of those MAGA chuds, all right? Um, a lot nicer, a lot harder working, better people. Uh, now, that said, following these statements, the sheriff's department was stripped of their election duties. To which I say, oh, no, no, more like an uh, oops. Whoopsie. There we go. Uh, now, the local elections board in Portage County in a three to one vote on Friday voted uh, to remove the sheriff's office from providing security during in-person absentee voting. Why there is election like why? Why are there sheriffs that are out there? you know, providing elections. I have no idea, right? Um, <laughs> it seems a little weird to me. Uh, but anyway, uh, now last week, the Ohio Secretary of State's office determined that Zukowski's post didn't break state election laws. So this whole thing uh, where, you know, you have voter intimidation, which seemed to me to be clear, voter intimidation, uh, the Ohio Secretary of State's office did not agree with that uh, assessment. Um, however, local citizens expressed their discomfort with this guy being in charge of election security. In fact, over a hundred people attended an emergency meeting called by the local NAACP chapter. Frank Harrison, the communications chair of that chapter, said the people had told him, quote, they're afraid to vote. They're afraid to put signs in their yard. Yeah. And, and not because of, oh, it's because we're going to send undocumented immigrants to your house. No. No, it's, it's because they're getting pointed out. It's because people are making lists of them for their political leanings, okay? And there's a lot of political violence that has been happening. And it's not the left that's doing it. It's the right wing that's doing these, this political violence against people, okay? The worst you're going to get from the left is somebody milkshaking you, okay? I don't, I don't suggest you do that. But I'm just saying that's pretty much the worst that's happened. OK, uh, whereas it's MAGA guys, well, not MAGA guys, OK, to be fair, it's right wingers, conservatives that have taken shots at Donald Trump. So they're, they're trying to shoot their own candidate. Among the other instances of right wing violence, of course, you get, you know, Proud Boys, for example, going in and doing violence in front of libraries, uh, you know, that are hosting the like, drag queen story hours, things like that, uh, that have been happening. And so I'm not, uh, I'm not at all surprised that there are people that yes, are afraid of having right wing violence happen to them. And so, yeah, of course they don't want to be you know, pointed out. It's weird and, and, and also dangerous, uh, especially, I mean, you just take what happened in Springfield, right? You know, you've got J.D. Vance out there saying, oh, you know, they're, they're eating the cats and the dogs. Donald Trump doing that during the debate. And now you have vandalism. Uh, now you have, you know, people's uh, you know, having their windows broken, Haitian uh, immigrants having their windows broken, acid thrown on their cars, being threatened. There's bomb threats. This is very serious. Right wing violence is a very serious thing that is absolutely happening. And so you've got Zukowski now, and again, in the same state where all this stuff is happening with the Haitian migrants in Springfield, uh, saying, oh, yeah, let's just point these people out. No, 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 no. So now the thing is kind of by design, having people afraid to vote. OK, remember, that's what the KKK was about, was trying to scare black people and their allies into not voting. So, 
now you have somebody here um, who, you know, that you know is not going to protect you unless you've got the right kind of politics, okay, if you're right wing. Having that guy outside your polling station is not going to make people feel safe. It's going to make people feel unsafe. And again, that's the point. That's why I, I do believe it is voter intimidation. The far right does not want people to vote unless it's for them. Unless it's for them. And look at all the ways that the right wing tries to, you know, crush voting. Okay? That voter ID laws. You got purging the voter rolls right before the elections based on race. Interstate cross check. Uh, you got them closing down polling places and passing rules where you can't give people water who are waiting in line. And who tends to wait in line more? People in inner cities, of course, where there are more people. Look, if they wanted everyone to vote, the Republicans wouldn't be trying so hard to restrict voting. It's very simple. Uh, now, the County uh, Board of Elections Chair Randy uh, Cleats, a Democrat, said in a statement posted on Facebook, quote, while it is not my responsibility to weigh in the sheriff's comments directly, I feel strongly it is it in my responsibility to make sure I do what is right in my authority to make sure every voter in Portage County feels safe casting their ballot for any candidate they choose. I believe walking into a voting location where a sheriff deputy can be seen may discourage voters from entering. And again, it's, yeah, it, they're right. <laughs> they're right. Um, yes, that would discourage certain voters, okay? Intimidation, intimidation. Uh, now, Zukowski followed up his own Facebook post, however, last week saying, his comments may have been a little misinterpreted. No, I, I don't. I don't think so. No message delivered, loud and clear. It's just uh, everybody else heard it too. It was a dog whistle. Look, if nobody picked up on it, then he never would have received any blowback. But people are paying attention, and they're not letting stuff like this go. They're seeing it for what it is: uh, th threats, voter intimidation, and they're speaking up and they're speaking out, and that's good. And look. Here's the thing, though. This is not just about having some political differences, right? Um, like, for example, you think tax rates should be lower on businesses, right? Uh, or, well, you know, I think there's uh, too much uh, regulation on the trucking industry. Okay, uh, we can have a conversation about that. We can disagree on some of those issues. We can even agree on some of these economic issues. That doesn't make you racist or a bad person to have a disagreement, right? But what you're saying about migrants, for example, this guy called them locusts. All right, saying that they just come in and they destroy. That's not true. In reality, migrants, getting back to Springfield, for example, guess what? They went in, they filled the jobs. They filled the jobs, they worked very hard at those jobs, and they're actually helping the local economy. Okay, now nationally, not only that, but immigrants across the country pay billions of dollars in taxes. They pay into Medicare and Social Security, all right? They spend money in the local economy they improve GDP. And they're not just doing the farm jobs that people don't want. That's a, you know, that's something that commonly gets ascribed to MSG. Oh, yeah, no, no, they're doing the construction and they're doing farming. No, 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 no. Uh, you have immigrants that are doctors. You have immigrants that are lawyers. You have immigrants that are starting businesses and employing people in the local economy. That's what they're doing. So immigration is a net good. The only people who do not see it as a net good are people that just see, oh, brown person, black person, brown person, Muslim, Arab, whatever. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, now I feel uh, outnumbered. Oh, do you know? Don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, why would you feel outnumbered? Very strange. Uh, but again, statements like from Trump or this guy about how immigrants are poisoning the blood of the country. You got to realize what that's really about. It ain't about welfare. It ain't about resources. No, it's about one thing. The Republican Party's racist. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down and become a member on our youtube page you become a subscriber on facebook or you can go to my patreon patreon.com slash jeff waldorf 
Thank you.